Hi, everybody. We are going trick-or-treating today. Hello, hello. It's getting spooky in Anita Good Design. I am Lauren. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to give everybody some time to get in, get comfortable, get organized, because we are stitching sassy or spooky today. And we all know if you've met me before or have stitched with me, I am definitely sassy, but I love a good spooky stitch out. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Hello, hello. I'm going to shout out my friends. Hello. I have lots of people coming in. Welcome, welcome. You are in the right place at the right time. I am Lauren from Anita Good Design. We are here for our Tuesday live stitch out, spooky or sassy. Lots of fun today. We are gonna take our embroidery design from our online collection and we are adding it to a tea towel. So it is not something that we actually you know, made into a project for the collection, but I'm gonna show you how to do it really, really easily because Halloween is upon us. I am not dressed up, but don't you worry, I drive my broom to work every day. <laughs> All right, at least my coworkers would say so. I'm just joking. I am here with my lovely helpers today. I have Madison behind the camera and Drea answering questions. So if you are here, you have questions with anything that we are doing today, just type it on in. I'm sure you are not the only one with a question. Everyone is joining today. Hello, hello. How is everybody? We have friends from Florida. Good afternoon. It's going to be good morning or good afternoon, depending on which coast you're in. Oh, Miss Martha, hello, hello. It's good to see you. Miss Martha's always joining us. Hello, yes. I have friends from Canada, New York, California. Hello, Miss Phyllis. Hey, 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 Trisha. How's everybody doing today? Now, the first thing I'm going to make you do as you are getting yourself organized is if this is your very first live stitch out, you've never watched one with us before, I just need you to say first timer and I will try with my peepers to see your name and say hello and welcome you into our favorite day of the week, Tuesday's live stitch outs at Anita Good Design. Hello, hello, if you are a first timer, I have a friend from Utah, hello. Miss Robin from Utah, not a first timer, but I'm just saying hello. Hello, hello. Okay. And I, of course, mine lags a little bit. Miss Susan, hello from North Carolina, Sunset Beach. Yes. Buffalo with my friend, Miss Judy. Let's go, Buffalo. So, fun fact I grew up in Buffalo, New York. My whole family is there. I am a season ticket holder this year. We're going to the Super Bowl. I said it live. Buffalo is going to the Super Bowl. It's our year. We say it every year, but hopefully this year. All right. First timer, Miss Jill. Welcome. Miss Celeste. I think that's Miss Celeste. I'm sorry. My eyes screen small. Hello, first timer. Miss Sonia. Welcome. It's okay. Miss Jill. They're trying to make the print larger for me because I can't see. With contacts in, by the way. Hello, Miss Joyce from Florida. Good morning. Okay, we have lots of friends here. I think we're ready to go. So let's get stitching. All right, so sassy or spooky. This is our online collection. It is only $10. So now is the time to snag up this collection. It has eight adorable, sassy, and spooky designs in them. They're applique. They're fairly quick stitch outs. They're going to come in three different sizes. So if you have a smaller hoop size, these should work for you depending on your hoop. Um, and what we're going to do today is we're going to add one of these designs, design number three, onto a tea towel. So it, we, we love coming, kind of coming up with cute ideas. Halloween is around the corner and it feels like we have a little bit of time, but you know how fast time flies. So sassy or spooky from September's 2021. So this just came out this month. This was just released. 
and for $10, you cannot go wrong. Now, we are gonna stitch out design number three, which is the ghost that says, boo, y'all, but I did make a sample here because I wanted to show you another design, and look how cute this tea towel is, okay? Has this great pumpkin on it. This is design, I think this is design number one out of the collection, and it says, let's give them pumpkin to talk about. See how we play on words here? Oh yeah, how cute is this? Let's give them pumpkin to talk about. Let's do it. But there's other really great designs, trick or treat, smell my feet. If you've got it, haunt it, creeping it real, trick or treat yourself, love it. Just a bunch of hocus pocus. Yes, I can drive a stick and it's the broom. All right, so this is a must need collection for $10, how crazy is that? So if you are joining us for the very first time for the live stitch out, I'm just gonna walk you through how we make this design. And again, I am adding it to a tea towel. I have my design loaded. And then the first thing before we switch over to our hoop, okay, cause we will put the hoop so you can see it. I do wanna talk about stabilizer, all right? Now, we or you have lots of different options as far as your stabilizers are concerned and what you can use. Now, because this design was not technically made for a tea towel, there is not a basting stitch involved. So you have options of how you want to create this, how you want to add it to a tea towel. You can add these to t-shirts, clothing, whatever you'd like. You can, sky's the limit. But you want to think about what notions you need. So today, I'm using Sticky Back Stabilizer. If you've never used Sticky Back Stabilizer before, it is essentially a stabilizer that is like a large sticker. So I have hooped this, and I will get into, once I get onto my machine, I'm gonna show you, you know, how we line up our tea towel and everything else. If you don't have Sticky Back Stabilizer, and you don't wanna run out and get a brand new stabilizer, that's okay. You can use wash away stabilizer. That is typically what we use with our linens because it makes it really nice. It's a wash out option where that, that stabilizer with hot warm water will wash out behind your stitches and your stitches hold. Now if you use a different stabilizer other than sticky back, you're going to want to either run a basting stitch off of your machine or you wanna use some tape to hold whatever your fabric or linen is in place. With the sticky back, the reason I'm using this is because it kinda of holds it and keeps it in place without having to use tape and without having to run a basting stitch. But sky is the limit of the options. You can also, of course, use tearaway stabilizer as well. You're just gonna to wanna to pick as much of that stabilizer out from behind the, uh, behind the, the design once it's done. Okay, which we'll still do with this because it's sticky back. It's technically a type of tear, tear away stabilizer. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do, if you're using sticky back stabilizer, this is like a big sticker as I mentioned, okay? And you're gonna have basically like a film on top of it. All right, so the first thing you need to do is score, which I will do here for you. You're gonna score the top part without going all the way through. And this is just going to allow you, see what I just did there? It's going to allow you to pick off um, that piece of, of top. And all I'm gonna do is rip all of that off. Look how easy that is. Voila! You don't even have to have big muscles for this. Okay, it comes right off. Now that bottom part is kind of sticky. Okay, so just be careful. It does not need to be perfect. Now, as always, for those of you that are used to joining us live, my hoop is larger than the size needed, but it's just to make it easier for you at home to view my hoop and everything going on inside of it and lots of, of fun. So at this point, look at I'm even going to leave this. I, I'm going to try to leave it, but I can't, right? We're perfectionists. I was like, look, you're going to even see. I'll leave this part. It doesn't even make a difference, but you know what? We, we tend to be type A's with this our projects and it will drive me crazy like I'm sure it'll drive you crazy at home watching. All right, for those of you just joining us, my name is Lauren from Anita Good Design. We are stitching out design number three from Sassy or Spooky from this month, September 2021's most recent releases. It is a $10 design co collection design. Let me say it the right way, collection design. 
You're going to receive eight different designs in there. So now is the time. And my lovely assistant, Miss Drea over here, who's not my assistant, she's just helping today. She is um, going to pin that in there. I'm sorry, what is it? Oh, holy moly's. It is on sale for $6 dollars right now it's not even supposed to be so you better get in there right now and grab it but this video if you are just joining us this video will stay and live forever on our youtube station so if you have to leave early or you are joining us late and you wanted to see what i said in the beginning don't fear it will be there so you can go on youtube you can re-watch it as many times as you'd like all right my hoop is ready my sticky back stabilizer is ready I'm gonna put it in. We're gonna get our good view over here of my hoop for you all so you can see what I'm doing. All right, now, there we go. So my hoop is in. Now there's a couple different ways that you can line up your tea towel so that it is straight. Cause you know, that is of course one of the most important parts of creating this project. Now on our hoops, we have little prongs that show us where the center is on both ways. Okay, there's one up here, there's one over here, and for this project it doesn't make a difference, but there is one on the left and the right. So you can always trace and draw that in with a marker ahead of time if you'd like. Um, just obviously with the sticky back, it, it might stick a little bit, so if you're using wash away or of course um, tear, regular tear away, you wouldn't have any issues. So our designs here to need a good design automatically center. That's how we digitize them, that's how they're programmed. So that is one sure thing that helps you center your design. Now, what I could do is just take my towel, line it from this prong to this prong, and it will be centered because my design drops center. But I'm gonna give myself one extra precaution. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my placement stitch first, that's for the applique of the design, onto my, my hoop, and that's going to help me triple check my center. So let's do that first. Do we have any questions yet so far, Drea, that I can address? Um, one person asked if we could use sticky back on a t-shirt as well. Yes, you can. If you want to use sticky back for a t-shirt, that was our question. Can you use sticky back for a t-shirt? That is A-OK. -okay that'll absolutely work wonderfully. All right, so here is my placement stitch. Now the placement stitch is for the applique. It is not for the towel, because don't forget, this collection was just created. We gave you just the directions of how to make the applique. It's not actually to how to place it on a towel. So now that I ran that on my, my uh, what is this called, in my hoop, on my stabilizer, I'm going to use my my vertical notches and the design itself to help me place my towel for center. You can, um, will you go back to the other view real quick and then we'll go back to that. Okay, so let's talk about our towel first. I have a tea towel here. It's from allaboutblinks.com. Wonderful website for linens that you'd like to embroider on. Of course, always check with your local dealers as well because we always like to support local first, but that is where my towel's from. It's orange and beautiful and spooktacular and going to be sassy. So I want to take my towel, fold it lengthwise in half, right sides together. That's really important. Right sides together. So I should be seeing the back of it. Also, if your tea towel has one of these easy access little hooks back here, make sure that's at the top. All right. Now I'm going to take my creased section my creased portion of the towel, and that's where I'm gonna line up my notches. So here we go. So here I am, here are my vertical notches. I can definitely eyeball that that is also the center of my placement stitch. Now what I wanna do, you can place the design as high up or as high down as you like on your tea towel. What I'm gonna do is just put the bottom of my towel right flush with the hoop here, okay? And keeping that crease lined up with the notch on the bottom. And then I'm just going to make sure my crease is lined up and flush, there we go, with my vertical notch up there. Because this is sticky back, 
I then am just going to smooth this out. And what it's going to do is that towel is going to adhere right to that sticky back. Now, for double precaution, I'm now going to stick this hand here, hello, 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 inside and hold my towel down. Okay, and then I'm opening up the towel. Look at this. And because it's sticky back, and a piece of lint, because it's sticky back, it stays nice and flat for me. There we go. Now, if you are somebody who likes to pin up or roll up this part of your towel, you can. I'm just gonna let mine hang. It is okay and not in the way of anything. And look at how flat and taut this is. So it's, it's really nice. And again, because it's sticky back stabilizer, it's just gonna lay really flat. I don't need tape. I don't need to run a basting stitch. So it, it makes it really, really easy. Have I lost anybody so far, Drea? Any questions? We're following along? Okay, stabilizers. Drea is a wonderful stabilizer. Okay. All right, wonderful, wonderful. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so we're gonna get going on our stitching. Now, this is something that you have to remember, especially if you run that placement stitch for the applique to help you on your stabilizer. Do not forget to back that machine up one step. So that's what I have to do is I'm gonna now back my, oop, except I pushed my arrow in the wrong direction. I'm gonna back that machine step up one time because I do need that placement stitch for my ghost applique because this is an applique design. Now here, I'm using black thread so that you can see easily at home, but you just wanna be mindful of the uh, applique that you're using, whatever color it is, and you want to pick a thread that is going to match either that or your tea towel. So here I'm using black so that you can see it. And this is a waffle textured um, tea towel, but it is a very thin waffle. It's not a thick, thick one. So it is going to embroider beautifully. And then also don't forget we're using applique for this design. So that's a, just a double, you know, sure way that it is going to work beautifully. You're loving the orange tea towel? And how cute, now I know we're not even done with this yet, but how cute if we have our pumpkin and then we have our ghost, your kitchen's already decorated. I mean, how adorable, you're totally ready. It's a great little hostess gift if you go to a Halloween party. All right, so now let's talk applique. I have my placement stitch here. It's going to show exactly how big your applique is going to be and where you need to place your applique. So, so important, okay? Now, I know in our directions, when you look at our step-by-step -step pictures, we have our ghost here in, in white, okay? Which is a typical ghost, right? Well, I, just like the title of this collection, am sassy. So I'm going to pick a little bit sassier applique for my ghost. And I did this really cute black and white kind of like textured fabric because I think it just needs a little zhuzh. So this is me, right? I'm always a little bit off the mark from everybody else, but it's going to be adorable. You're going to love it and you're going to want to use something different too. So I always like to kind of embrace whatever the theme is and then add my own little flair to it. So yes, white ghosts are kind of traditional, but I like this little pattern fabric to just show it off a little differently. I hope everybody is getting ready for Halloween. Oh my gosh, this sassy or spooky design collection is perfect, especially if you're somebody who as an adult likes to get festive, but maybe you're not into like complete costumes or you have to go to work as a professional and you wanna wear like a Halloween t-shirt, maybe a little witch's hat, but you don't wanna wear a full on costume to work. You know, everybody's different. These designs are great for t-shirts. You can do a little matching family outfit if you wanted to. They'd be great for pajamas. I mean, lots and lots of different options. Tea towels. How cute would these look on if you even did a, uh, like an apron in the kitchen to match your tea towels? How cute is that? Okay, so I am here, okay? At this point, and again, I, I am kind of exaggerating everything. My applique is much larger than I would need because I just want you all to be able to see it. So I'm going to trim very tight, okay, at this point, 
to my tack down stitch. And this is gonna be something that unfortunately, which is the way um, we are in being live, you're not gonna be able to see me trim, but trust me, there's nothing exciting happening. So I'm just trimming, hopefully you're trimming along with me. And, and we're gonna chat for a minute. So do we have any questions yet, Drea? No. Ooh, why did we not think about this? So the question was, or it's question or suggestion, I guess, is can we use glow in the dark thread for these? The answer is you must, I insist. How cute would that be? If you have never used glow in the dark thread before, it is so fun. Um, we here at Anita, every once in a while, usually around this season, pull it out and then all the adults that work here are usually squished in a very dark room trying to test it and see if it glows and it does and we still get excited like children do. So yes, yes, and yes. What a great suggestion slash question. Okay, ask away. Diana asks, will adding batting create a problem? Okay, the question is, will adding batting add a problem? And it is okay if you add batting. Obviously, just like your quilt, you wanna make sure that it is um, you know, washable if you're going to launder these or just use them as decoration and not have to. That's fine too, but no, batting would not add any issue, especially if you wanna make it a little puffy. How cute would that be? Go for it, Miss Diana. And as always, if you are making any of our projects at home, we at Anita love to see your creations. So please, please, I'm changing my thread color. That's all I'm doing right now. Please, please send us pictures. You can send them to our Facebook page. You can post them, um, where else? You can email them to us as well. And we love when you use different colors and different fabrics. When I travel around and I meet you all and teach our, our in-person events, people are afraid to show me the projects they make with different colors than our choices, and that's our favorite part. We love to see your creativity. Okay, so at this point, my next step on here is the satin stitch. This is gonna be a little bit, okay? The nice part about this project is there's not a lot of thread changes, not a lot of color changes. It is a lot of embroidery or um, satin stitches, so we just get to kind of chat and hang out while this rolls, which is wonderful. So the first thing I wanna tell you about, okay, while my embroidery embroiders, is our flash sale. Because our flash sale pairs perfectly with our Sassy Spooky collection. And it is our Anita's Express Halloween card collection. And look at how cute these cards are. I'm trying to line them up here, there we go. Oh yeah, let's get a zoom. Madison's gonna zoom in so you can see these cute little cards. So this is a Halloween card collection. These were released in two, September of 2016. So these are oldies but goodies. If you were not all access at that point, then you wouldn't have these unless you purchased them. Okay, look at this one. Has a little black cat in front of a grave that says RIP. And then what we did here is we just, on this specific card, we added a piece of blank cardstock to cover up the stitches in the back. Okay, this one, I just real, oh, that's good, perfect. Trick or treat, again, another pumpkin. Look at, we use decorative paper on the inside. So just some different options. This is like scrapbook paper, basically, is what this is. So you can really create some beautiful, beautiful, Halloween cards, how cute if as a hostess gift or just a gift to your favorite person, they got a little homemade Halloween card and a matching tea towel. These pair together so well. Now our Nita's Express Halloween card collection, normally $30, it is our flash sale item. So until Sunday, you're going to receive this for 50% off, which means it's only $15. So you have your $6 on our, your $6 Sassy or Spooky collection and a $15 Halloween card collection. So, I mean, you can't beat these prices right now. I'm all about a big, 
a good bargain deal. So that is the way to go. Your cards are going to have 10 different designs in that collection. And we just use regular card stock. That's everybody always asks us, where do you get, or you know, what kind of card stock or what kind of paper? It's just regular card stock. You can get it from something as simple as staples and get kind of basics. You can go to card stores, specialty stores. Uh, if any of you have heard of paper source before, that's a great, great um, source of where you can get your cards from. They have different colors, they have envelopes, different sizes, lots of good stuff there. But these are the collections to have. All right, so as we are stitching, this is coming out beautifully. My satin stitch is still running, so we are gonna have a, let's do a giveaway for a $20 virtual gift card to Anita Good Design, and everybody has to participate, and you're gonna type in the word sassy, because we are sassy and spooky today, so you type the word sassy, and at random, we will choose a winner. Okay, do we have any qu new questions so far, Ms. Drea? Yes. yes. Okay, great question. Can the embroidery designs on the cards be used on other items besides cards? And my answer is absolutely 100%. The only thing you would want to think about is we have um, fabric back here. There's a placement stitch for this background fabric, not just the design. And so when you are creating whatever project you're creating or putting this on, you may need to just skip a couple steps if you don't want that like square background fabric, if you want just your pumpkin or just your cat and the RIP. So you just need to kind of work your way through the design collection and maybe skip the steps that, that you don't need for whatever project. But yes, you absolutely can use these designs on any other project you would like. Okay. My eyeballs are coming through on my ghost, and I, so I need to change my thread color. Here we go. All right, make sure you type sassy. You only have to type once to enter. I know you like to kind of put it in more times, but it only registers once. One entry per participant. How is everybody doing? Are we ready for fall time? So I will have to tell you, I'm not supposed to. They already told me not to tell you. But if you know me, I do what I like. So there is a really fun sale starting tomorrow. That's why I'm not supposed to tell you yet. Um, it will not make these projects any deeper of a discount. But we have some wonderful projects or collections coming out. And a sale starts tomorrow called Falling into Fall. What is it? Fall into autumn. Falling into fall, fall into autumn. Same, same, we all get the idea. So a lot of our favorite autumn collections will be on sale. So make sure you tune in to our website tomorrow to kind of check out those great sales that we have. We love a good discount. Do we have a winner, ladies? We do, we're ready. Okay, who's our winner? Right, Debra LeClaire. Debra LeClaire. La Madame, you are the winner of our $20 virtual gift card, if you will email us at customer experience at anitagooddesign.com with a hyphen, don't forget that good guy, then you will receive your wonderful card. All right, so we are gonna keep on keeping on here. We have some more detail stitching coming in. I, like, I don't know, you all can see this pretty well. Look how cute that fabric is. For my applique, how fun is that? See, you can get a little wild with your ghost. I know we like the, the white plain ghost, but I'm like, go, do your thing. Do your thing, find that perfect fabric. Absolutely. Ooh, glitter vinyl is a suggestion. That would be really fun too. Glitter vinyl with a glow in the dark thread. I am sending you all my address here at Anita Good Design, and you all can make me some towels. I love these ideas. I need some tea towels with glitter vinyl and uh, some glow-in-the-dark thread. Lauren at Anita Good Design. You can find our address online. I expect, Martha, I expect some tea towels. No, I'm just joking. Martha's the busiest lady ever helping us here at Anita Good Design. Just teasing, Martha. Okay, so why, while this is stitching, let's talk a little bit about our September All Access. If you have not um, ever kind of jumped into All Access before, or if you've never seen it, 
what we do is we take all of our collections that we release every single month, okay? And you can buy them on our website in single collections, buy them as you like, but we also have this really great club membership that we have a lot of customers belong to, and it's called our All Access Club. And what this does is it allows you to get all the standard releases and all the large releases that we come up with every month that we release in one beautiful book, okay, at almost an 80% discount. So when you count up all the collections that came out in the September All Access, it's right around, I think, $420 was, is if you bought each one individually, each collection individually, and our members get this at an 80% discount. It's crazy. So we have a couple different options. We have a digital option, and that's where you get the same book, same details, same designs, uh, same information, but it comes to you digitally, so you don't have to actually store a physical book, and the designs are digital. And then we also have our what we call our physical option, and that's where you get this printed, printed book every month. You don't have to do any printing or you don't have to look at it on your computer, and then the designs come digitally to you. So it's really, really wonderful. Um, tons and tons of fantastic collections. We have a fall spice collection in here. You have to see these designs. They are just too cute. It's another collection that is absolutely fantastic for decorating your kitchen. If I can find them, here we go. Look at these. They're great for Thanksgiving, great for home decor. How cute are these designs? Oh, love it. Look at a little piece of pumpkin pie there. These are just a wonderful. And then we have just some great sayings as well. It says, give thanks, gather together. So you could definitely use these for your tablescapes too. Speaking of tablescapes, we have a tablescape collection in here. Oh, I love it. I just love it. My ghost, I'm kind of biased, but I really think my ghost is like numero uno. All right, what questions do we have? Do we have any new questions here, Ms. Drea? No? Everybody loves their All Access. Thank you. Thank you. We love having you as All Access members. And let me tell you, we have some great stuff coming out. Do I have anywhere? Um, will you grab me the right in front of Drea? Yep. I'm going to show you a sneak peek from October. Now, Speaking of October, if you are, uh, nope, we'll just do the, the sample. If you are a current All Access member, we just released the October sneak peek video on our YouTube page with Brianna and I. Thank you so much. Um, so you can watch that video and you can see all the great stuff coming out in October. If you are not an All Access member and you still want to see and check it out, you need to go to our YouTube page and watch it. So Brianna and I just did our sneak peek video. <clears throat> this is perfect, thank you. So this is our Christmas embellishment, uh, embellish Christmas, I'm saying everything backwards today. Embellish Christmas, this is our large release that is coming out in October and it's so big, I have to kind of put some things down. But you need to see this, it's incredible. Incredible, thank you. Look, all my lovely assistants here. Look at how gorgeous. This quilt is, oh, Madison is getting a close-up zoom shot. There is three-dimensional flowers on here, if I can get my hand this far. Three-dimensional flowers that we attach. All the, look at the embroidery in this collection. <sighs> and of course, we you tried to use some different, like non-traditional um, colors. Okay, pause one second, Madison. I'm gonna change my thread color. It's time for my boo y'all, okay? So the boo y'all time is here. I'm just changing my thread, but we're gonna do more close-ups. Nothing to see yet on my tea towel that you're missing, but you need to see these October releases. Oh, they're gorge, they're gorge. You don't wanna miss it. So again, look at this. So there's three-dimensional options here. If you wanna add this beautiful poinsettia flower, you don't have to. So if you're looking at that saying, nah, that's not for me, that's okay. But it comes with these beautiful borders. All of this design that you're seeing is all embroidery. So whether it's the borders over here, 
anything in between. It's all embroidery. None of this is patterned fabric. It is all embroidered details. Like how incredible is this? We have beautiful typography ones, blocks too on here. Just gorgeous. Okay, let me show you a different colorway now. Are they loving this, Drea? You're going crazy, right? Okay, here is just a different colorway. Okay, this one, same collection, embellished Christmas. We just did something a little bit more traditional in coloring, okay? But how, I mean, the detail on here, so you know what happens is you all are gonna fall in love with this collection and then this embellished Christmas collection is gonna go to the top of your holiday project pile and the UFOs from last year are gonna continue to stay as US UFOs. And if you are new to embroidery and you don't know what a UFO is, it's an un, or UF, yes, unfinished project you know, right? All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so now I think it's time that we do another giveaway. What do we think? Another giveaway? Yeah. So let's do a $20 gift card, and this time your word is gonna be spooky because we are stitching from the Sassy and Spooky collection. You already typed Sassy. Let's type Spooky for a $20 gift card. Yes, yes. It is Miss Linda Embellished Christmas is gorgeous is gorgeous. So you type the word sassy. Nope, this one is spooky. Look at your... Do we have Hanukkah collections? We do have some Hanukkah collections. If you are looking for a Hanukkah collection, if you go into our website and type Hanukkah, you will find some Hanukkah collections. Woo! We are typing some spookies. I am seeing them go. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, we're excited. I think you all want to win this gift card because you want to be able to purchase this new collection. Sassy or spooky, here is my one sample that's already done. It's on a black tea towel here. And this is my larger size. So this is the A size. There we go. This is the A size. If you have smaller towels or you just don't want something as large as this, we have two other sizes that go down. So this is the largest size option here for this design and then it just goes down from there. But I'll open it up so you can kind of see the whole tea towel. There you go. But again, how cute would that, it, it, there it is. Sorry, I had to focus, folks. So how cute would that be though on a t-shirt? Or again, if you were making an entire kitchen um, decor, you can add this onto an apron. You can add it on top of, or onto um, placemats. Little, you can use the small ones and do napkins. You could literally have an entire collection, a kitchen collection decor just with this one $6 collection. It's craziness. So my boo y'all is coming in. So it is stitching and I used my purple on top of my really fun ghost fabric here. All right, do we have a winner for Spooky? Who is our winner? Miss June Lawson, you are our spooky winner. So you are going to please email customer experience at anita-gooddesign.com and we will get that gift card over to you. Now, don't forget, if you're just joining us, I have my flash sale item. Okay, this is Anita's Express Halloween card collection. It was released originally in September of 2016 regularly $30 on sale until Sunday. Don't wait till Sunday because you know you'll forget. On sale until Sunday, 50% off. So these will be $15. It, insanity. $15 until the end of the week. So don't wait. You'll have your perfect little Halloween cards, your cute little tea towels or whatever projects you're making with these. You'll have the best gifts or the best home decor in town. Everybody will be jealous, of course. I will probably take all of these home with me and then instantly say that my house is decorated. I just have to sneak it past everybody else in this room who also wants these to decorate their, their home. What are we dressing up for for Halloween? Are we dressing up? Is this a crew that likes to dress up? Tell me if you are dressing up this year for Halloween and you know your costume. Because I'm going to guess there's a lot of people that make their own costumes on this, on this website. Yes, so the question is, I'm reading, 
I answer it and then I'm going to tell you the question. So the question is, are the sp sassy spooky designs in September's All Access? The answer is yes. These sassy spooky designs came out this month in September 2021's All Access. The flash sale is an older collection released from September of 2016. So if you are currently All Access, September is an issue you have, then you have the sassy spookies. What other questions? What other questions? Great, great, great. All right. Now, you're not dressing up. I know sometimes I dress up, sometimes I don't. It just depends. When I fly my broom every day to work, I feel like that gives me the pass on a costume. Sometimes I like to and sometimes I don't. It's really always my mood of the moment. Um, do you have a costume? Do I have a costume this year? I don't think I do yet, but I've had some ideas, but I'm not willing to share them yet. So maybe for Halloween, we can get an Anita Good Design uh, employee dress up and we can have Miss Madison does all of our um, social media. So when you look at our social media, Facebook, Instagram, Miss Madison is the one making all those beautiful, beautiful, fun videos. Woo, I'm done. That's scary in itself. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Now, speaking of social media, it is so, so important that I have to talk about it before I even pull this out of my hoop, but we have lots going on here at Anita Good Design, and we are coming to you virtually, more virtually now than we ever have before. So if you would please do me and my fellow coworkers a favor, anytime you watch us on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, if you would please share and spread the news. So if you can, if you like any of our videos or anything that we come out with on social video, you give it a little thumbs up or a heart, you comment, anything. You say, hey guys, love seeing you or love the project or can't wait for next week's stitch out, helps us tremendously. And of course, you can always share anything on social media too. There's a quick share button on your um, Instagram, your Facebook, and on YouTube. You can share all of our things with your other friends who are hopefully loving the same hobby you do. And I can't tell you how much it helps us here at Anita Good Design, and it enables us to keep doing these videos and spending this time with you all. So just, you know, we love you all. We want to continue to be able to reach you in your homes, in the comfort of work. I won't tell anybody if you're working on your lunch break and watching me, it's okay, secret safe here or if you're at home in your jammies and comfy okay so we have look at how cute our little will you do a zoom zoom okay look how cute he is there we go boo y'all and I'm loving my textured fabric here or the look of the textured fabric okay love it yes how cute is he so now we have of course our sticky way okay so all I'm going to do is I'm going to unhoop them. And because it's it's sticky back, but it's still a tearaway stabilizer, okay, I'm just going to kind of pull off as much sticky as I want. And then I'm still, I'm one of those people I still like to cut a little bit just to help myself out. And then tear, tear, tear. Okay. Now after this video ends, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. Oh. Sometimes it tears, sometimes it doesn't. And I will clean up the back of this, which means I'm gonna cut out and trim as much of the excess as I possibly can. But we are live and you all don't wanna see me labor over that. So again, I'm just trimming. Okay, this is just what the back will look like, but this is exactly what I'll trim out. Okay, look how cute my little towel is. I think I might have another sample walking up here. Stefano, do you have a sample for me? Oh, look it. We were making another sample for pictures. Here he is. He flew in on his broom, too. <laughs> All right, look at how cute this one is. This hot off the press. We were doing, making this one for pictures. Trick or treat, smell my feet. How adorable is this? Oh, love it. So you could have, look at this cute set. Hang on, I'm going to get my third one up here. 
How cute are these? Now, I'm sorry, I'm not, my towels are not folded evenly, so they're not going to hang even. But the boo y'all, oh, and then trick or treat, oops, trick or treat, smell my feet. Oops, oops, there we go, there we go. I'm getting it together here, Madison. And let's give them pumpkin to talk about. This is a must. So sassy, spooky, released from 2021 this September. So this is the most recent month's release on sale right now for $6. And it wasn't supposed to be that cheap, but it's $6. You better run and get that. And don't forget our flash sale item. Flash sale item. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, Anita's Express Halloween cards released from September 2016. So you have everything that you need to get ready for Halloween. And you do have a little bit of time, but not on the sale. So both these sales are going to end Sunday. Okay, they're both going to end Sunday. So you want to make sure that you snag up your sassy spooky and your Anita's Express Halloween cards. All right, everyone, as always. Oh, wait, Drea, do we have any other questions? Anything that's a pressing question? I don't want to send you off to make a project and I didn't answer something important. Yes, our towels. The question is, where did we get our towels from? Allaboutblanks.com. Blanks is B L A N is a no K S. Allaboutblanks.com. That is where our towels are from. You can get your cards, your card stock. You can get regular card stock from something as simple like um, Target will actually have it, and so will Staples. Or you can get like just nicer colors or variety of colors from places like um, Paper Source. Paper Source you can find online, so papersource.com, but there's brick and mortars for those as well. And of course, as always, check with your local dealers first. We want you to support local. We ourselves at Anita Good Design, we are a small business here. We are only 40 employees, uh, and so we know what it's like we love and appreciate your, your loyalty and your support here. And because we are a small business, we always ask that you check with your small business first and support local. So please check with your dealers because a lot of them will have the tea towels you can embroider on. And a lot of them will also have your, your cards to embroider on too. Especially if they're selling the machines, they a lot of times will have your goodies, your notions. Okay. Thank you all so, so much for joining us. We love doing this. We love coming live with you. Madison and Drea are back here giggling at me and all of my ridiculousness. But please join us again. For those of you that are new, we are doing this every Tuesday, 1.30 p.m. Eastern time. We have a great, great project for you next weekend, or next Tuesday, not next weekend, next Tuesday, for you to join in with us as well. So lots of fun things. Don't forget, we have our fall into autumn sale. So hop on the website tomorrow. That starts tomorrow. Check out our emails. Go to anitagooddesign.com. 